Bro, look! This is my high school uniform. The one who's showing off her uniform to me is my younger sister, Hina. She'll be starting the same high school as me from the day after tomorrow. She's an extrovert, has high communication skills, and has many friends, unlike me. I was proud of my younger sister, but for some reason, she really liked me as well. Yes, it's very cute. <laughs> yes, my sister is really cute. I'll be able to start going to school with her in three days. Since the entrance ceremony is only for the new students, I was looking forward to going to the same school with her, but there were things I was also worried about. I was called an introvert at school and was made fun of at school. I didn't have many friends and since having entered high school, I barely talked to any girls. I was somehow able to get through middle school because of the friends I had from elementary school, but now in high school, I knew almost nobody. If Hina saw me like this, what would she think? Oh! Oops, sorry. Oh, it's you, Kusanagi. Watch where you're going. You're in the way. Sorry. Such a miserable guy. Then, three days later... Bro, let's go together. Oh, hey. Let's not go arm in arm. It's embarrassing, don't you think? It's fine. We're siblings. I don't think there are siblings who go to school together like this. But since my sister was so sweet to me, I couldn't take my arm away from her. So we kept on making our way to school next to each other. Wow, they're flirting with each other. Early in the morning, too. Wait, who is that cute girl? That guy doesn't look that great, so why? Oh no, so many stares. Because Hina was so cute, he seemed to have become the center of attention. Oh, Himeka. Bro, I'm going to go together with Himeka, okay? Sure, got it. Wonder who Himika is. I wondered who it was, but Hina and I went off into different directions by the school gate. I guess Hina is really excited about having started school now. Hey, Kusanagi! Huh? What? Why the heck are you with such a cute girl? Really, who do you think you are? Uh, no, it's not like that. Hey, you guys. Oops! The vice president! Bad guys will pay. And the president, too! Let's get out of here! Well, how miserable of them to take off like that. Don't they know that we recognize their faces? Yes, we remember all the students' faces and names. Wow, good memory. Oh, uh, thank you very much. These two girls who helped me were the president and vice president of the student council. The brown-haired one was the president. Her name is Sayaka Kimoto. She's a third-year student. She's gentle and easygoing. She's popular among the students because she has the feeling of a mature lady. But according to the rumors, she is someone you don't want to get in a fight with. I don't know the reason, but all the third years say so. The black-haired one is Chisaki Shinada. Like me, she's a second-year student. She's always been at the top of the class ever since she entered this school. She's also well-known for being the cool type and not letting guys flirt with her. Seems that she's very popular because she has this cool side to her. Also, she is kind to the girls, but she's very scary to the boys. You also have a problem. If you're a guy, why don't you say something back? What? It's so miserable that you can't talk back to guys like that. I'm sorry. Hey, hey. Chisaka is not being honest. She's a bit harsh, but she's worried about you, Kusayaki. When you don't talk back to them, those type of people tend to get worse in their behavior, you know. Yes. Well, if you have any troubles, you can come to the student council. See you. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> uh... Hey, hey. Bro, what was that? Oh, Hina. And this girl. Oh, yes. Good morning. Oh, morning. You're a friend of Hina's? That's right. We went to the same cram school when we were in middle school. Her name is Himika Shinoda. She's not so good with boys, so she's like this, but don't worry about it. Yes. So now that I've introduced you to Himeka, we'll get going. Or not. What was that about just now? Are those guys harassing you? I thought that she was going to ask you about the president and vice president, but it seems Hina had seen me talking with the other guys earlier. 
I didn't really want her to see that. So? Well, as you know, I'm not such an outgoing type, so people do make fun of me. What? I can't forgive them for how they treat you. Hina? You don't need to get so angry. Yes, I do get angry. I will make them pay for what they did to you. Wait, wait! You're not about to go fight with them, are you? I won't do something that's stupid. I have a better plan anyway. What are you planning to do? <laughs> After school is going to be fun. I had no idea what Hina was thinking, but I somehow felt hesitant about asking her. After school ended... Bro, we're going to the hair salon. What? Wow, you scared me. Oh, Miss Shinata's here too. Hello, I hope that's all right. Himeka is going to help out. Help out? I guess for both of you to overcome your weak points. Bro, you're not so good at talking with girls, aside from me, right? What? I feel like my position as the older brother is in danger. <laughs> Don't worry too much. Anyway, let's go. This is how I was forced to go to the beauty salon with them. Wow, looks great. What? Miss Shinata mumbled something after I got a haircut according to Hina's instructions. Oh, nothing. Yep, yep, just as I thought. Now we'll go buy clothes. Wait, Hina! Himeka, you too. Okay. I was taken to a clothes store with Hina leading the way. I changed into the clothes I bought. Yes, yes, this is perfect. Hina looked very satisfied and was nodding to herself. I was made to buy three other outfits as well. My pocket money. Well, I'm sorry about that, but I am paying for half of the cost, so never mind. Also, I think people will have a very different impression of you if you look fashionable. Don't you agree, Himeka? Yes. I think it looks very good. Oh, okay. Well, people shouldn't necessarily judge people by how they look. And if you like to dress in such a plain style, I didn't want to say anything. Plain? But if people around you are making fun of you, then that's a different story. Also, girls tend to avoid guys who don't pay much attention to their clothes and hair. I guess the face you can't do much about. Your personality tends to show from how you present yourself, so it's important to look stylish. But I can't do my hair like this. Don't worry, I'll do it for you every morning. Now the next part is important. What? This isn't the end. Of course not. Looking fashionable is just the beginning. What's important is how you are inside. I'm gonna have you learn how to get girls to like you, bro. What? Okay, let's go home. From here, Himeka is going to help us. Hina looked very content as we went back home. I, on the other hand, was very anxious about what was going to happen next. Then after that, Hina began her lecture on love techniques. Apparently, it was on how girls come to either like or dislike you. And in order to make oneself popular, she taught me the so-called event making. Next is the actual practice. I taught you the basics just now, but if there are 10 people, there are going to be 10 different ways for them to perceive things, so you need to be flexible. For example, with Himeka, she's kind of scared of boys. She is quiet and a great girl, right? Right. I just met her today, but I guess judging from how she seems, that would be right. With a girl like her, it's important to speak with a gentle tone of voice and never stop smiling. You need to make her feel comfortable. Difficult. You can at least do the voice, right? Just ask her something with a gentle voice. Well, Miss Shinata, what kind of food do you like to eat? Well... What? <laughs> Himeka, you can do it. This is also good practice for you to get used to talking to boys. Oh, okay. Well, I like cake. According to Hina, in a case like this... Yes, cake is yummy. I like it too. Oh, I see. No, that's not good. Why? Didn't you tell me to agree with the other person in a situation like this? 
Girls tend to enjoy talking, so usually they'll pick up on the conversation and continue from there. But if the girl is a quiet type, in a case like that, you need to make sure to end with a question. Otherwise, the conversation will stop there and things would get awkward. Oh, I see. You don't want the girl to feel that things are turning around. I see. So after I agree with her, how about I say, what kind of cake do you like? Good. With what Himeka said back then, you should ask her that right away. Oh, I got it. Let's move on to the next stage. Now, I want you to guess what it is that Himeka wants. I like that would be easy. But if you can do this, it would be really good, you know? Especially with a quiet girl like Himeka who can't tell you what she wants. If you can guess what it is she wants, she would be really happy, right? Yes, I'm always helped by you, because you always know what it is I'm thinking. See? So, bro, you need to observe the girls very carefully and read their minds before you act. Of course, be careful not to stare at them, because they would find that freaky. Okay. Hmm. Well, what is it that Miss Shinata wants now? Well, I guess she has been fidgeting a lot. Oh! Miss Shinata, if you want to go to the bathroom, please feel free. What? Hold on, bro. What do you think you're saying to a girl? Well, but... No buts. You are going to be disliked 100% if you say such a thing. So insensitive of you. After that, Hina lectured me for about 30 minutes. Apparently, I stepped on a big landmine. Miss Shinata stepped in, so I was finally released from Hina's lecturing. If she hadn't been there, I don't know how long the lecture would have continued for. So we started once more. I followed Hina's instructions and found that Miss Shinata gradually opened herself up to me. She wasn't looking uncomfortable sitting next to me anymore. As for me, I had never talked with girls like this except for Hina, so my heart was beating like crazy. Then, after we became more comfortable... Oh. <laughs> when I patted her on her head, she seemed to actually enjoy it. Okay, okay. Compared to the beginning, you've made great progress. Well, but... Is it possible to get that far, usually? With quiet girls like her, once you get familiar with her, she will let her guard down and become friendly with you. So, if you're gentle and considerate, she won't be so cautious with you. So, I guess this was the beginner stage. You're saying that in front of Miss Shinata. Himeka doesn't mind about that. Now, let's go to the intermediate stage. Intermediate stage? <laughs> I guess we can do that tomorrow after school, then. I'm not sure why, but I don't have a very good feeling about this. The next day after school, for some reason, I was told to wait for them in front of the cafe. Hi, bro. Thanks for waiting. Oh, I just got here as well. But why did you want me to wait for you here? The vice president? Why? <laughs> the person who is going to help you out today is the sister of Himeka. Miss Shinata's sister? The vice president? Oh, the last name is the same. Hina! Why did you bring the vice president? She's not the intermediate stage. She's the super hell advanced stage. <laughs> Don't panic. I know she doesn't look it, but Chisaka is a quiet type of girl. Chisaka? I hear that she is kind of cold towards boys in school, but that's because she went to an all-girls middle school. She's not used to boys, so it might not be that hard. What is she saying? Does she know what she's doing? There are two ways to make your move toward Chisaka. The first is to never show that you're afraid. The moment you show fear, she won't see you as her equal, so she will not open up herself to you. The other is to be very considerate and gentle, even if she behaves in a cold manner. Then, gradually, she might loosen up. Is this for real? Yes, Shisaka is cold towards boys, so the boys have been rarely gentle with her. What? Hey, how long do we have to stand outside of the store? Oh, sorry, Chisaka. Let's go in. Jeez, I came along because you said you really needed me, but to have coffee with a boy is not really my thing. 
Well, never mind. Let's go in. With those words, Hina pushed the vice president inside the cafe. Hello. I hope we'll have a good time together today, too. Oh, hi, Himika. Are you getting used to school now? Not yet. I haven't been able to talk to people aside from Hina. I see. If something comes up, make sure to tell Hina, okay? And of course, you can come talk to me as well. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Because of our training yesterday, Himika and I were able to talk to each other comfortably. But would it be possible with the vice president? So why am I sitting next to Hina's brother? Ah, uh, well, don't be so stiff. I'm not being stiff. Well, maybe the vice president doesn't remember that she talked to me before? Well, I guess it would be easier that way. Uh, would you like to look at the menu? Oh, thank you. But you can take a look at it first. Oh, her reaction is not what I expected. No, ladies first. Oh, I see. Well, you're not using the phrase correctly, but thanks anyway. What? That wasn't right. Well, I'm glad she took the menu. Hmm. After that, we ordered some dessert and some drinks, and we were making small talk. Oh, Miss Shinada, do you want to get something more to drink? I can order something. Oh, thank you. Please. What would you like? Then, tea, please. Got it. Your brother is a good person. Well, of course. He's my brother. I see. And he doesn't seem scared of me. Well, not that it's that important, but... She seems nice and yet cold at the same time. After that, I did as Hina told me to do. When we went out of the cafe, I had the vice president walk on the side of the road. When a truck came by... I switched places with her and apologized for not having noticed earlier and walked by the side of the road. Of course, I matched my walking pace with hers and didn't forget to smile while I talked. Afterwards, when we went to the bowling alley, I made sure to only carry her balls and treated her in a special manner. As I continued to do as Hina told me to do... <clears throat> if you want, do you want to go somewhere next time with just the two of us? When we were about to go home, the vice president invited me like that. I'm a girl who is called the Iron-Hearted Beauty by the people from school. Hina! Your techniques! I, of course, accepted the invitation. After that, we parted ways and Hina and I went home together. See? Chisaka was not that difficult, was she? Well, I guess not. But, Hina, you are scary. What do you mean? Chisaka is making walls for herself and she wants guys who can understand her and be kind to her. She's really a girl at heart. So that's why it wasn't so hard. Well, yeah. Without Hina's advice, this wouldn't have worked at all. Usually, it also ends with one glare from the vice president. Anyway, we'll continue on from here. What? We're continuing this? Of course. I want to make sure you're super popular and take revenge on those guys who are making fun of you. What? I would like to go for the president, but she would be impossible. According to Shisaka, the president is used to being treated like the queen, and she's used to boys confessing their love to her, but she's not gone out with any of them. That kind of level is beyond the advanced. It would be impossible unless she comes to take an interest in you first. Yeah, it's kind of obvious that I wouldn't have much success with the president. Can't figure out what she's thinking under her smiles. Yes, exactly. That's why we're going to go after the others first. Of course, those without boyfriends. Goodness! Easier said than done. Actually, it would be impossible. No worries. I'll observe and collect information to find those we can succeed with for sure. Hina? Let's calm down a minute. I think we're up to no good here. <laughs> I can just imagine how those guys who make fun of you will look. She's not listening to me. So with that, I was made to do as Hina planned for me. As for the result, when I did as Hina told me to do, it seemed that I became more and more popular. And it was unbelievable how the girls were trying to get hold of me. Just as Hina thought, the guys were bitter about it. It also meant that tons of other guys saw me as their enemies. On top of that... 
interesting. Even Chisaka has really taken an interest in you. So I guess I wanted to talk to you for a while now. Why don't you come to the student council meeting after school? You could be a member if you like. That's how the president came to take an interest in me. And after that, I had no idea how my life would turn out. Thanks to my sister, I am too popular now. And my life seems to be going out of control. Shogo, can I have a word with you? I have something important to tell you. Huh? What is it? My name is Shogo Agura. I'm an ordinary high school sophomore. If there's one thing that makes me a little different from other high school students, it's that I can cook, do laundry, and other household chores better than most because I lost my mother when I was young. I'm actually thinking about remarrying. Oh? You have a partner? Yeah, we've actually been dating for a year. Oh, I don't mind. Are you sure? I thought you'd be more against it. Why not? You've raised me all on your own. You deserve to be happy too. Jogo? Thanks. They'll start living here next week, so help me clean up before then, huh? Next week? Uh, all right. Then a week passed, and in no time, it was time to meet my stepmother. You must be Shoko. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. Ah, <sighs> thank goodness she looks like a nice person. But that's not what I'm worried about. Dad, I didn't know she had kids too. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention that. But you said you wanted siblings, so why not? I mean, yeah, but they're... The older sister, Kaya, is the cool type. And the younger sister, Asami, has been on TV since two years ago as an energetic idol. They're known as national idols and are said to be twins of the millennium. <sighs> Can a guy like me be a family with these two? Oh, you're all in the same grade, but you're the older brother since you were born earlier. <laughs> Seriously? What? This guy's gonna be our brother? He's not handsome and looks lame. Ugh, this sucks. <sighs> hey, Kaya, Asami, you're going to be family now. So get along with each other. Ugh, guess we don't have a choice. Nice to meet you, Shogo. N nice to meet you, Shogo. I feel like this is the first time a girl has called me by my name since I became a high school student. <laughs> I understand they're my sisters, but it's still embarrassing. Yeah, uh, nice to meet you, Kaya, Asami. <laughs> Don't call me that out of the blue. Don't call me by name. What? It's not right to call your last names. I don't have a choice. You're the one who started calling me by my first name. It's fine for us. You agree, right, Kaya? Yeah. <sighs> fine. So, Kaya-chan and Asami-chan, then. I don't like that either. I'd rather just be called by name than that. Right? I, I don't like it. Just call us by name. All right, I understand. I wonder if I can live like this from now on. Well, we're probably in different schools, and since they both have jobs, they won't be home that much. Despite my optimism. This is Kaya Ogura, who transferred in today. I'm Kaya Ogura. Nice to meet you. Oh, we're in the same school. And we're in the same class. Ugh, could it be that Asami is in the entire school as well? Seriously? We're in the same school as that I do? She's a god. No, a goddess. Well, your seat is at the very back, by the window. Yes. I don't go, huh? Damn, how lucky. I come to think of it, they both have the same last name. Wait, am I allowed to say that we're family? It's gotta be a coincidence since it's a common name. He's an only child, too. Well, I don't see the connection. <sighs> Looks like that's gonna be irrelevant for now. I'm tempted to brag that she's my sister, but I haven't asked either of them if it's okay to tell people, so I'll keep quiet for now. I'll ask when I get home. After school. Shogo, you didn't tell people we're siblings, did you? 
Uh, I didn't, but should I keep it quiet? Of course! Did you forget that we're idols? <laughs> it's not like I'm your boyfriend or anything. Does it really affect you? There are plenty of idols who have older brothers. What are you talking about? We're not blood-related. Yeah, it could start some weird rumors. I, I guess you're right. Yeah, so don't talk about it casually at school. And call me Ogura-san at school. Yeah, okay. Ugh, I was happy to have sisters, but looks like they hate me quite a bit. Then I stopped talking to them at school, and two weeks passed. I'm going to give you back the quiz you took last week. 90 points, not bad. Speaking of which, I wonder if Kaya and Asami are smart. I'll hand out the answers, so you should review what you got wrong. Asami doesn't seem so, but Kaya seems pretty smart. Wait, why isn't she taking the printouts? Ogura-san, what's wrong? Huh? Oh. So sorry, uh, I'll leave the answers here. Y yes I got a glimpse. Didn't it say 20 points? Surprisingly, Kaya isn't very smart. And I expected for someone who seems calm and collected. Well, she's on TV a lot, so she must not get a lot of time to study. Yeah, I could teach her, but it's not like she's going to be asking me for help. In the end, Kaya and I continue to take the rest of the class without saying a word to each other, as usual. Shogo, did you see? No, I didn't. I didn't even ask specifically. You definitely saw the test score, didn't you? Oh, sorry. It wasn't on purpose. <sighs> it's over. My life is an idol. What? Why is it such a big deal? Because you found out that I'm an idiot. People are going to find out on social media that Kaya, who sells herself as cool, is actually a huge idiot. No, no, I'm not gonna go around saying that. We're family. You should trust me a little more. What? Okay. Good. This was just a quiz, so there's no makeup test or anything. But are you ready for the final next month? Uh, no? Even if you look at me straight in the eye like that. I can't help it. I'm stupid. Oh, this is just like Asami. I guess they're twins after all. Are you disappointed? Huh? Why? Because the real me is not cool or anything. I'm just an idiot. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's okay to look good in front of your fans, but this is home. Really? Thanks, Shogo. I'll help you with your chores, so can I ask you to teach me how to study? I actually saw your score from behind. I see. I'll teach you if you like. Thanks. Then let's cook for now. I would have cooperated even if she didn't help me with the housework, but it seems like it would be easier for Kaya, so I'll borrow her hand. Then Kaya and I started preparing dinner. Come to think of it, can Kyra even cook? Oh wow, I didn't know you could cook like this. You thought I couldn't cook? Sorry, I didn't have an image of you being able to cook. So that's why you didn't put me and Asumi in charge of cooking when you divided up the household chores. Yeah, my dad and I could cook just fine, so we didn't really need any help. My dad secretly told me that my stepmother wasn't a very good cook, so... Yeah, she's not. That's part of the reason why Asumi and I got good at it. It would be a disaster if no one could cook. I see. Well, now that dinner's ready, let's study until everyone comes home, hmm? What? Isn't it fine if we start after we eat? No, uh, Kaya's busy with work. Let's not waste any time and get to studying. Wh what? Then our study session began. Oh, by the way, uh, today's quiz was on math, which is your weakest subject, right? <sighs> Maybe I'm worse at English and physics. Uh, oh, worse than the 20 she scored today? <sighs> you thought I'm screwed just now, didn't you? Sorry, I honestly did for a second. I know that myself, so you don't have to tell me. She's totally different from what I saw on TV, but she's still cute. 
Okay, I'll do something about it. I mean, what have you been doing so far? Especially the transfer exam at our school. Oh, for that, I memorized the parts Asumi predicted by intuition and faked my way through. Although, Asumi's like that. She's a genius after all. Wow, why don't you just ask Asami to teach you then? Asumi's been really busy lately, so I haven't been able to rely on her. Besides, she's too much of a genius, I can't really understand. If you do it like this and that, you'll get the answer to one. If you transform the answer from one a little bit and then expand it, you can easily get two. Asumi, tell me again from the beginning. What? Oh, I see. Well, let's start with the easy part for now. Yeah, <sighs> I'll do my best. Then we started studying together at home when Kaya wasn't working. Oh, I solved it! That's a pretty good improvement just after one week. Yeah, maybe you're just good at teaching. Well, actually, I've always wanted to be a cram school teacher, so I've always been thinking about how to teach. Oh, I see. Then I'll be your first student. I still have to learn English and physics, so... I'm aiming to be a math teacher, but I'll do my best. Hey, why are you guys getting along so well lately? Oh, Asumi. Shoko's been teaching me how to study. You've been pretty busy with work lately, so... Oh, I see. Do you want to study together, Asumi? The final exams are coming up. Ah, uh, I'm good. I'm a genius, and we're in different classes anyways. Yeah. Kaya told me that she was smart. Oh! Kaya told you about me too, huh? Asumi, you seem like you're in a bad mood. What's wrong? Kaya, you've been like this to Shogo until recently too. Yeah, but he's a pretty nice guy when you talk to him. He even taught me how to study without telling anyone I was stupid. Oh? He told Shogo about that too, huh? So, let's all get along, Asumi. Besides, Asumi and I actually... Shut up! No need to say more. I don't need to, so why don't you two just study together? Uh, did I do something wrong? No, she's just being a child, and so was I. I don't know why she was mad, but let's just make up anyway. I don't like to see you two on bad terms. Yeah... I think so too, but... Do you know why she's mad? Yeah, we're twins after all. I see, then you guys can make up. <sighs> I'm sure we can, but it's not my fault, so I don't want to apologize. Yeah, but... <sighs> These two are making things a lot more difficult. Shogo, you convinced her since you're our big brother. What? Why me? I want you guys to get along, but wouldn't it be counterproductive for me to get involved? It's fine, just go. You just need to hear what she has to say. Oh, okay, if that's what it takes. But she went outside and I don't know where she is. She's probably at the little bridge over on 2nd Street. Oh, okay, I'll check it out. I went outside, but there's nothing near the bridge. And there's no way she could be in such a place. She's here? Twins, huh? Asami-chan, it's getting cold, so let's go home. Shogo. Kaya told you to come here, didn't she? Y yeah but... I won't apologize. It's not my fault. You're saying the same thing as Kaya. Hmm, I see. Then you don't have to apologize. What? Kaya only told me to listen to what you say. Ugh, Kaya... Hey, Shogo. You don't have a girlfriend, right? Why all of a sudden? I don't have one right now. You don't have to pretend to look cool. I can tell you've never had one. Oh, you can tell? <laughs> yeah, because you don't understand the heart of a girl at all. 
Sure, I don't know what you're upset about, but you're my sister, and that's two different things. It's the same thing. We're not even blood-related. If I wanted to go out with you, I could, and so could Kaya. Stop making fun of me. I'm not making fun of you. We're the closest to you, and if you can't even understand how we feel, you'll never get a girlfriend. Uh, then if I guess why you're so upset, you better take it back. Huh. If you get it right, sure. You're in a bad mood when you saw me and Kaya getting along. If that's the case... Got it. Y you figured it out already? Yeah, you weren't amused to see me and Kaya getting along, were you? What? Wow, you figured it out. Right? So that means you were jealous of me because you thought I took your favorite sister. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you don't get it after all. What? You made it seem like I was correct earlier. Uh, yeah, for the earlier parts. Your conclusion was totally wrong, though. Uh, I don't get it. <sighs> After that laugh, I'm not even angry anymore, so let's go home. Tell me a story about you on the way home. I don't mind, but I don't know if I have any interesting stories. Asami listened to my nonsense the rest of the way home. We're, We're home. home! Welcome home. I see you're in a good mood now. Yeah, I got along with Shogo. I see. I'm glad. I'm sorry, Asami. I know you were happy to have a brother, but I kept him to myself. But it's good that you two got closer. From now on, I won't hold back as much. Huh? Huh? Didn't you tell Shogo that you really wanted to be close with him from the beginning? Oh, you weren't jealous because I took your sister? Kaya and Shogo, you idiots! I'm gonna cut ties with you! So I can have Shogo all to myself? Absolutely not! I was worried at first, but I'm sure I'll get along with my new sisters. Having a non-Alabama sister relationship with one of them is for another story. I, Hayato Echizen, am an ordinary student who just entered his junior year of high school. I'm living an ordinary life for the most part. However, there's one thing in my life that's like an anime. Ah! Kanagi-senpai! Give me your autograph! Your autograph! Senpai, shake my hand! My hand! It's about a girl at school who's very popular with the girls. Her name is Natashiko Kanagi. And she's a junior in high school who is the head of the kendo club. She's said to be the strongest girl who didn't let her opponent's bamboo sword hit her once at last year's high school tournament. She seemed to be a nobody in junior high school, but suddenly emerged as a high school student. She changes completely when she's doing kendo and when she's not. When she's doing kendo, she has a dignified demeanor, but normally she's a gentle girl who's very calm. That's why she's popular with the girls. Hey, look, it's Kanagi-san. She's looking cute today, too. Yeah, she really is. I want to get close to her. She's popular amongst the guys as well. But since she's always surrounded by girls, no guy has a chance to talk to her. I never talked to her either. It's only natural since we've never been in the same class. However, I feel like I've seen her somewhere. I think I've met her somewhere else before. But how could I forget if she's that beautiful? I've been carrying around this blurry feeling for the past three years. One day... P please stop. Uh... I... I never thought I would come across such an anime-like scene twice in my life. Come on, come hang out with us! Yeah, we'll entertain you! N no! Alright, that's enough! Huh? Who the hell are you? Uh I'm just a regular guy passing by. What are you doing to this girl? That's none of your business! That's right, back off you loser! Well, of course you're not gonna back down so easily. Just back off if you don't want to get hurt. What? Those words, could it be? Wh who is this guy? He's kinda scary. 
Well, we'll let you off the hog for today. Yeah, we didn't have time for a guy like you. He ran away. Thank God they don't have the guts this time around. I was relieved that they retreated so easily, because it would have been bad if I had to do something with my bare hands. Oh, um, thank you very much. No problem. Wait, you're Kanagi-san. I guess this girl didn't need me to go out of my way to help her. Well, I guess she can't be violent, otherwise she'd miss out on a tournament or something. Do you know me? Um, I'm a junior at the same school as you, Kanagi-san. Is that so? What a coincidence. Oh, uh, do you have any plans after this? Uh, I'm just going home. <laughs> That's great! Please, let me thank you for what you just did. No, it's not a big deal. No, it was very nice of you. Please, let me thank you. With that being said, I was taken to a coffee shop. My name is Nadeshko Kanagi. Thank you for saving me from a dangerous situation earlier. I'm Hayato Etches then. It really wasn't a big deal, so don't worry about it. Uh, Hayato Echizen? Uh, are you a kendo player by any chance? Well, I guess you would know if you're in the kendo world. No, I didn't join any clubs in middle school. This wasn't a lie. I just went home after school in junior high. I see. Wait, did you say junior high? But, what, uh, well, it's the same thing, isn't it? Uh, well, I guess. Anyways, order whatever you'd like. It's on me. What are you going to do if I order a lot? <laughs> what? I don't mind. Uh, are you rich by any chance, Kanagi-san? My father runs a pretty big company. However, I myself don't make much money, so I can't boast about it. You're implying that you're rich, aren't you? How elite is this girl? However, we have a lot of money, so you can order without worrying about the money. I'll just have a coffee. Wow, what a humble person. Amazing. I'm not sure what she's talking about. I didn't do much. I don't feel comfortable asking you for a lot. I see. Well, we are in the same school, so there will be plenty of opportunities to thank you. Is this girl still planning to repay me? No, no thanks. One cup of coffee is good enough. I don't like the idea of being thanked by Kanagi's son at school because the girls will take notice of me. How truly humble of you. You're so nice. I feel like she's misunderstanding me. I don't want to get involved with her in some weird way. We placed our order while Kanagi-san's impression of me somehow went up. She ordered a cup of tea to match. Then, as we were having a light chat... May I ask one favor of you? Kanagi-san suddenly asked, What? Would you be willing to play me in kendo tomorrow? Uh, ah! Uh, uh, are you okay? Uh, uh, why, why kendo? I told you I don't play in any clubs in junior high. Uh, didn't I tell you? Um, I would like to play against you once. So you still have doubts? I don't think it's worth it. Is that a no? By the way, what happens if I refuse? Well, I don't want to do this to my benefactor, but I may have to ask you at school. Uh, what is this girl thinking? She knows how much influence she has, and she's using that against me. Come to think of it, she did have two sides. Okay, fine. Really? Yeah. It will cost me more to refuse her here. And if I lose, she'll understand that it was the wrong person. So I accepted the match. After that, we left the coffee shop when I said goodbye to Kanagi-san. And the next day on a Sunday, after the women's kendo practice was over, Kanagi-san and I were facing each other. Please make it best of one. Yeah, that's better. By the way, you let the other kids go home first, didn't you? Well, I'm doing this for personal reasons, so I decided it would be better not to involve the other kids. It would be more convenient for Echizen-kun, too. You're indeed a very considerate girl. I'm just a beginner, so don't get your hopes up. I don't mind. Please, think of it as a game. Really? I'm aware. In martial arts, strong people take it seriously. Even if it's just for fun. Just put on a beginner stance for now. Please come at me anytime. But I don't know how to play. 
I see. Then I'll go first. See, I knew it. Where did the word fun go? You dodged that. You are an experienced kendo player after all. Oh no, I was using my head to make a joke, so I dodged it by reflex. Oh no, I have to loosen up. But if I do that now, I'll look suspicious. There's the opening. Uh, right after Kanagi-san took a swing, a pleasant sound echoed through the dojo. Uh, I, I didn't see it coming. Uh, oh no, I did it. While I was thinking in my head, Kanagi-san made a small opening, so I reflexively attacked. Thanks to that, the whole plan fell apart. And I ended up beating her. No, this is... Uh... I finally found you. What? Hechizen-kun! No, Hayato-san, will you go out with me? What? But why all of a sudden? Hayato-san, you're Hayato Echizen who's been unbeaten since elementary school and won the national tournament as a sixth grader. The one nicknamed Hayabusa because you were so fast nobody could follow your moves with their eyes. No, no, I, I told you, I, I didn't play for a club at school. Those words stuck with me too. Didn't you quit kendo after the national tournament in sixth grade? And you spent the rest of your junior high school in no clubs. If that's the case, it makes sense. Oh no, she's so sharp. As expected of someone who won first place in the nation. Y yeah, you're right, Kanagi-san. This girl will get to the truth no matter what. I thought so and confided in her honestly. I knew it! B but why does that lead to you asking me out? Were you a fan? And no, it's not like that. I've been looking for you for a very long time. Wait, hands! Let go of my hands! Oh, I I'm sorry. Um, c can I have some of your time after this? Uh, and if I refuse? I will come talk to you in the classroom at school. Okay, fine! She intimidates me again and I follow her lead without thinking twice. Afterwards, Kanagi-san came over to my place. So what is it? Oh, well, I'm sorry to go into this, but the reason why you quit Kendo is because of the violent incident, right? And what about it? Oh, I didn't mean to offend you. Well, in the Kendo circles, it is said that you sent some people to the hospital after getting into a fight. But that's not actually true, right? You were just protecting a girl from a group of about ten delinquents. Isn't that right? Uh, how did you know? I was right. I'm sorry. I was the one you saved that time. What? Th that girl was Kanagi-san too? That's why she looked so familiar to me. But she looks different than before. Yes. To be honest, I wasn't even going to school in junior high. Rebelling against my parents and playing around. What? That's a surprise. Is that why you wore your hair brown? <laughs> yes. That particular day, I felt like traveling, so I went to a place far away from my hometown, and I was spotted by a group of delinquents. That's when I met you. Yes. I used to live in a different prefecture, so I wouldn't have met Kanagi-san had she not gone far away from home. I remember that well. I tried to help a girl that was being forcibly taken away, and the punks tried beating me up, so I put them all on the ground. But since they were tough, they kept coming at me, and when I got serious, I sent some of them to the hospital. Because of this, I was exiled from my dojo, suspended from tournaments, and banned from the kendo world. I'm sorry. Kanagi-san? I ran away, so I didn't know what happened after. It was about a year later when I found out. I wanted to meet you again, so I started kendo, thinking I could meet you at a big tournament. But I didn't, so I thought it was strange, and I did some research and found out the truth. If only I had understood the gravity of the situation and checked up on you right away and offered help, none of this would have happened. You saved me, and yet I couldn't return the favor. I can't make amends for taking away your future. Uh, there's no need to apologize. I was one who told you to run away. I had her run away because I didn't think I could cover for her since there were too many of them. It wasn't her fault. And the unlucky thing was that one of them was the son of someone very powerful in the Kendo world. That's the only reason I got that punishment. So it's not your fault. If only there had been a witness. 
Sure, that might have overturned it, but it might not have changed the outcome, you know? So, there's no point in worrying about the past. It's over now. Why are you able to laugh like that? You were kicked out of the town you lived in too, weren't you? You're well informed. That was just because of my father's job transfer. It wasn't because of the incident. I couldn't live there anymore because they would come to my house and harass me. But it's best to cover it up like this for now. But more importantly, you must have worked really hard from junior high to get where you are now. I think it's amazing. Uh, well, even the untrained eye could tell how strong you were. I thought I could meet you if I entered a big tournament. That's why you were able to become so strong. I'm sure she's a straightforward and sincere girl at heart. There's a place I want to take you. Will you come with me? Huh? Uh, of course. Thanks. I decide to take the perplexed Kanagi-san to a very special place. Here we are. Wow, it's beautiful. Isn't it? <laughs> this is my favorite place. Why did you take me here? I thought it would be a nice change of pace. Oh. I'm glad you care. But there's nothing good that comes from dwelling on the past. So don't look back, just look forward. Well, the truth is... I was holding on to something that had been bothering me up to this point. But then I found out that Kanagi-san was still hung up on it, so I decided not to worry about it anymore. Are you going to forgive me? I wasn't mad at you from the beginning. You really are kind, Hayato-san. That's not true. I'm just telling the truth. By the way, is that why you asked me to go out with you? To make amends? Oh, that's not true. No, it's not that it's not true, but the main reason is because I have liked you ever since junior high. And so, I thought it would be good for you to be with me because I'm wealthy, which would be a way to make amends. I see. I'm relieved. Relieved? You asked me out just to make amends. I wouldn't have said yes. Does that mean... Yeah, so how about we start off as friends? I was attracted to her loyalty and diligence for working so hard at Kendo just to meet me, and her kindness for being concerned about what happened five years ago. This led me to believe that it would be a good idea to start off as friends. Oh, I see. Apparently I made the wrong choice. Um, is that not okay? Uh, to tell the truth, I was hoping you would go out with me, but it's okay. I'm going to make a strong appeal now that we're starting off as friends. She's really strong, isn't she? And so we started as friends. As expected, Kanagi-san started sticking to me like glue at school. And she even started making me lunch, so I was gonna be faced with a storm of jealousy from both the guys and the girls. But Kanagi-san laughing next to me was so cute that I surprisingly didn't mind. Her parents were not only rich, but very rich. Kanagi-san, who found out that I was the same person who left the Kendo world because of a violent incident, told her father about the whole situation, and the father went to them directly and told them that I was innocent, allowing me to return to the Kendo world. Of course, the person who knew about the situation and worked to exclude me ended up getting kicked out of the Kendo world, but I guess that's karma. I thanked Kanagi-san for going that far, and decided to go out with her because she was also cute. And to add one more thing, the reason she was completely different from junior high was because she tried her best to be liked by me. Kanagi-san is such a nice girl. From now on, I'll do my best in Kendo again, so that I can make her happy. A quiet Sunday afternoon. I was heading home when I took a seat on a bench at the park to cool off when... That girl has been wandering around here alone for a while. Hey, are you okay? I was following a butterfly and when I turned around my sister... You were misdirected by your sister? She was really lost. Apparently, the little girl had found a butterfly, wandered off without looking, and lost track of where her sister was. Anyway, it's hot here, so just sit down here for a sec. Oh, have this too. It's unopened. Thank you! She seems like a good kid. But what to do about it? I need to find out more about her. I'm Yuta Kato. You are? I'm Natsu. All right, Natsu. Let's make sure to hydrate. I don't want you to get heat stroke. I know that. Oh, wow. You know a lot, huh? Hey, let's kiss. Uh, what? What do you mean? 
Uh, I don't know either, but Sis was saying it in the mirror. Oh, that isn't heat stroke. Uh, you mean that's not what you meant by heat stroke? Yeah, you really scared me with how off you were. Anyway, I'm going to ignore what you just said and you just focus on hydrating. Okay. I gotta find her sister. I guess I could take her to the police station. Yeah, it's so good. What the heck is Nachan's sister doing in her room to the mirror? I started looking for her sister when... Uh, not to! Oh, Sis! Wait, that voice. Natsu's sister is... You worry me so much. You can't just go run off on your own like that. I'm sorry. It's okay, as long as you understand. Just let me know when you want to go somewhere and make sure you hold my hand, okay? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Thank you for saving my sister. Kato! Hey, Ozawa! Surprise! We knew each other. Natsu's sister, Haru Ozawa, was my classmate. So... I'm glad you found your sister! I'll see you later! Wait! Why are you running away? Thank you for the juice! Bye, you guys! See you later! I ran away like a bat out of hell. I did not like Haru. She'd won the beauty contest at our school, and just as you'd expect, she's the Madonna of our school. She got great grades and was also an excellent athlete. She's kind and wants to help anyone who needs it. Of course, she's popular among the boys. But for some reason, she singles me out and treats me like this. Huh? I forgot my pencil case. Here. Huh? What's this? You forgot your pencil case, right? Use mine. Don't mistake this, though. I'm not lending it to you because you're special. It's not like I like you. Yeah, no. I would never mistake that, no matter how introverted and antisocial I am. You would lend a pencil to other people even if it wasn't me. For some reason, Ozawa started acting cranky after that. And another time... Miss Ozawa, we're going to karaoke later. Wanna go? I'm sorry, I have plans. She's so popular, as usual. Huh? What are your plans? You're going home with your boyfriend? Not my boyfriend, but someone I like to be mine. Kind of. I'm in the mood to go home with him, so... Wow, look at you being proactive. As I was heading home... Huh? Ozawa, what are you doing here? Why does it matter? Oh yeah, she's waiting for the guy she hopes will be her boyfriend. Alright, see you tomorrow. Oh, wait, uh, hang on. Huh? What's up? So, so, um, I don't have anyone to go home with today, and we ride the same train, so why don't we try going home together? Maybe. Don't mistake it, though. I just don't have anyone else to go home with. There's nothing more, nothing less. It was just a hunch and a gut feeling, so... This isn't... No way. Okay, let's head home. Uh, really? Oh, you want to grab some crepes on the way home? Why? Well, because... You're upset that you were left alone by the guy that you wanted to make yours, right? Huh? If you're sad, then I figured you'd want something sweet. So you invited me to a crepe store out of... pity? I mean, you usually look out for me, so this is just a thank you for the daily kindness you show me. I... I don't show any special kindness. But I wanted to eat crepes anyway, so I'll go with you. Okay? Let's go then. As you can tell, she kept getting angry so quickly that I couldn't handle it. As I went home thinking about all those events, my mom was on the phone. I'm home! I see. I didn't make it. Okay, okay. I understand. I guess she couldn't find a job again. Oh, welcome home. I have a hamburger for you. Your favorite. Let's eat. Yeah, thanks, Mom. My household was a single mother household, and she raised me all by herself. However, the company that my mother was working at went under last month. If she can't find a job, we'll have to move to her parents' house. My mother probably doesn't want to move to allow me to keep working at the same school. I wanted to work at a part-time job to help around the house, but my mom was completely against the idea. She said that if I had time to work, 
I should be studying. However, I didn't want to be a burden to my mother, so I felt so guilty. However, I was concerned with one thing about having to switch schools. If I move schools, I have to say goodbye to Ozawa. I wonder what she'll say if I moved. She was definitely annoying, but I was actually a little sad when I thought I wouldn't be able to see her anymore. I first met her during our induction ceremony for high school. She was struggling at the train station and I helped her. Oh no, oh no! Um, do you need help? Yeah, I lost my wallet and my pass! Were you trying to do a magic trick and lost them? That was apparently not the case and she had just forgotten them at home. However, she was definitely struggling. It didn't matter that the person that needed help was beautiful. What mattered that she was in trouble? <laughs> I will make it in time to the ceremony if I go home now. What do I do? Oh, I'll buy you a ticket for the day. What? Really? Thank you. I'm Hara Ozawa. I'm Yuta Kato. Ozawa was even more honest than Natsu, and she thanked me profusely. During the ceremony, she was chosen as the speaker for the class. I was so glad she made it in time. Who knew that even smart people like that made mistakes? It was actually really relatable, and I felt like I could like her. The day after the ceremony, she gave me the pass. Here, thank you for yesterday. Oh, I'm glad you made it in time. Yes, you really saved my skin. Your speech was really good too. I want to show my appreciation to you, but... Oh, it's okay. You gave me the money I spent on the tickets, so... Oh, don't be like that. I can have anything? I mean, if it's something I can do. Oh, that feels good. This is what you want? A little lower. Here? Wow, you're so good. My back was so itchy. This is what you want? That's the spot, right there. This is what you want? I thought that would be the end of it all, but... No! Oh, you're scratching too hard! Your nails are digging into my back! Why in the world would you pick a girl that's saying thank you scratch to her back? You said anything! There are other things! Afterwards, for two years, we continued this sort of relationship. Ozawa was always close, though. If only she wasn't so angry all the time, she would be perfect. It was awkward because I ran away today, too. I'm a little afraid of what she's going to say tomorrow. However, the next day... Thank you for saving my sister yesterday. I don't know what would happen if she kept wandering around in that heat alone. Here, I baked some cookies for you. She just honestly said thank you, and I was at a loss. These are delicious. You bake often? N no, not really. Just sometimes. But I really worked hard on these. Oh, you baked them for me? No way, that's true, but... Yeah. I wanted you to have it, so I baked them with Natsu. What? What? Nothing, just... <clears throat> Why is she so honest and cute today? Thank you. I'll eat the rest at home. Sure. Thanks again, Kato. I noticed her looking at me during class after that, too. Normally, she would get upset and say something like, Why are you looking at me? But for some reason, she just smiled. Then, on the way home that day... I saw an old man that looked like he was in pain. Um, are you okay? My stomach. My stomach. I don't have anything in my stomach. Oh, so you just... haven't eaten. I was worried, but it was just a starving old man. I don't have any food on me. Hang on. I had the cookies from Ozawa, but this was a gift from her as a thank you. I felt wrong giving that to eat, but... Uh, I'm so hungry. I'm sorry, Ozawa. Um, you can have this. What is this? It's some cookies I got from a classmate. You sure I can have that? I think Ozawa would have done this. I see. Ozawa gave you these, huh? I will be sure to remember this. Thank you. The starving old man was happy but I felt terrible for Ozawa. The next day, I told her knowing that she would scold me, but... So I'm so sorry. I see. So you ate them, huh? I know you and Nachan baked them for me. 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's what you were worried about? Huh? I don't mind. If I were in your shoes, I probably would have done the same thing. I see. Can you come by my house then? To your house? Natsu wants to see you. Why don't we all bake some cookies together? What has gotten into Ozawa? That weekend, I visited Ozawa, but... Oh my gosh, this is your house? You're so rich! No, my mom and dad just run a business. I didn't know you were royalty. Yay, Yuta! Oh, hey, Natsu! I get to cook with you abscess today! Yay! Time flew by after that. We baked cookies in a kitchen that was way too big, and we had so much fun. It had been so long since I had this kind of fun. Natsu fell asleep. She must have used up all her energy. She's sound asleep. She must have had a lot of fun. That's good to know. Um, Kato, I have to ask you. Hmm? Do you like someone? Huh? Why so suddenly? Just tell me. Um, I haven't been thinking about romance much. Why? My house has some... things going on. So I might have to move and change schools. What? Move? Yeah. My mom's company went under, so she's struggling. I want to stay at this school, but we might end up going to Hokkaido, where my mom is from. That sucks. Huh? Why? Because I liked you ever since the ceremony, but I just couldn't be honest and kept teasing you. I was finally able to be honest with myself, and... Relax. It's not set in stone yet. I'm sorry, Ozawa. I hope you understand why I can't say yes. Don't apologize. I'm the one that should be apologizing for not being honest with you. I feel bad for not noticing your feelings sooner. I was surprised by her confession. I knew how popular she was and that she had someone that she was interested in. I just didn't expect it to be me. The only reason she wasn't honest with me was because of me. And at that moment, I was filled with regret. If you're gonna move schools, I want to ask you for a favor. A favor? What is it? Something I only want to ask you. I want to make a memory with you, so... Let's kiss. There it is. Heat stroke. Just like you practiced, huh? Huh? Sorry, I just had to say it. What do you mean, like you practiced? No, oh, uh, nothing. Were you watching? Were you? How do you know? I mean, I wasn't watching you, but... <laughs> I went home after that uneventful event, but she was just stuck by my side after that. Maybe she was rushing things because she was worried that I would move. However, I was unable to reciprocate her feelings for me. It seemed like she understood as well. A few days later... Yuta, I found a job! Wait, what? You mean we don't have to move? Yeah, I'm so glad. My mom's new workplace was Zawa Food Industries, and it was a giant corporation in the area. They were apparently incredibly generous to their employees, and she doubled her salary. My mom found a little ad in our post box and applied. She was immediately hired. I reported back to Ozawa and... So it looks like I don't have to change or move schools after all. So... I'm sorry for making you so worried. So if you're still interested, would you like to be my girlfriend? I would love to! Yay! Whoa! Hang on there, Ozawa! <laughs> We're gonna be together forever! I love you so much, Yuta! We fell in love and started dating on the spot! Hey! It's this and Yuta! What are they doing, Grandpa? Please? That's not a game, sweetie. That's being serious. I know that! I seriously love you! Huh? You know what that means? Uh, no. But this is staying in our room. <laughs> you should forget about that. Apparently, the starving old man at the park that I gave the cookies to was Ozawa's grandpa and the chairman of Zawa Food Industries. He pretended to be starving at the park to test me there. It would be a little while later that we found out about that, however. I'm back! You're late, Kanzaki. Get back to work! 
Yes, sorry. This is me, Yuto Kanzaki, getting back to the office while being yelled at by my boss, Tokiko Kosaka. But the clock in the office was already ticking past 8.30 p.m. I was dispatched to a different company as a system engineer, so I always do the work at the office after finishing up with my other tasks. Oh, senpai, thank you for your hard work. Kira-san, thank you for your hard work. How's the progress? This girl is Kira Kokoro, my junior who's in her third year here. She's been on the same project as me for two years since she joined as a new hire. So I've been her mentor, and we get along a little better than everyone else. She's now the leader of a team that handles take-home projects from our clients. And although she may look timid, she's a strong girl. I'm doing fine, but the other members of the team seem to be behind. Ah, I see. What does Kosaka-san say about that? Uh, she wants us to work overtime to make up for it. Ah, uh, she doesn't change. Well then, Kanzaki's here, so I'm leaving. Don't leave until you've finished whatever you're behind on. Eh! What? Got something to say? No, it's nothing. <laughs> well, just get it done and get out of here. As usual, management goes home first. Kanzaki-san, please do something about this. That person shoves her woik on us so ours gets delayed. She's the boss's daughter, so she does whatever she wants. The boss loves her too much to listen to us. We won't last with someone like that at the top. For now, send the work over to me if you're behind. But you have your share too. Don't worry, it's not that big a burden. Those of you who are sick or overworked can pass the work to me and go home. No, we'll take care of it ourselves. Yeah. I see. Then let's all do this together! To be honest, our company has terrible working conditions. A normal company wouldn't make you work overtime at their company after you finished your share at the client company. Working until the last train and working on holidays was the norm. In turn, everyone here that are trained to go through this every day were very reliable. The company itself may be horrible, but the employees are all top-notch. It's so unfortunate. Kira-san? I want you to pass me a little bit of everyone's work tomorrow. Huh? But... It's fine. Everyone says that, but I want to take the weight off as much as possible. Okay. Thank you. Don't worry about it. It's part of my job to follow up with everyone. Don't hesitate to ask for help, Kira-san. Yes, I understand. This is how I was spending my busy days. The salary was so low that I thought about changing jobs many times. But I couldn't quit, because if I did, there would be no one left in this company to protect the employees. But then one day... Excuse me, I'm back! What are you doing? We won't make the deadline if you keep this up! What? I thought we were good on the deadline. Is something wrong? Kanzaki! You came back too late! This idiot screwed up in the design stage and created a fatal bug! If we fix it from here and start unit testing all over again, we'll never make it in time! Uh, I'm sorry. It's not a matter of apologizing right now. How are you going to take responsibility? Kira, you're the leader of this group. You're responsible for this. Why didn't you check properly? <coughs> I'm so sorry. Damn it! All of you are incompetent! <sighs> What is it, Kanzaki? You have something to say? Yes, I do. With all due respect, who's the incompetent one? What? You push your work onto your subordinates and do a lousy job managing. And when you fail, you put all the blame on your subordinates. You're the one in charge this time, not Kira-san, right? <laughs> Watch your mouth, alright? Are you forgetting that I'm the president's daughter? It doesn't matter. Thanks to you, I've already made up my mind. Made up your mind? Yes. I've decided to quit this company. Huh? S senpai please calm down! That's right! If Kanzaki-san quits, we- There's no future for this company. Senpai... But wait a minute. I might have an idea. An idea? 
Huh? If you want to quit, just quit. I don't want a subordinate who stands up to his boss. A guy like you will be treated like an obstacle no matter where you go. Well then, I'll quit without hesitation. I don't mind, but even if you do apologize in tears, I won't let you back in, alright? Think hard about that. I don't mind. And so, that's how I quit the company. The next day... What? You're quitting? Hikaru Shirakami, the project manager at the company I was dispatched to, was very surprised when I told her that I was quitting. She's the daughter of this company's president, and she tries to understand the company by taking on various tasks. She's totally different from the slacker of a boss at my old company. Yes, I won't renew my contract after this, and I'll leave the company. Oh, my head hurts! You were the reason I was able to work as a project manager! I'm sorry. Uh, no need to apologize. Oh, that's right! Hey, why don't you join this company then? I couldn't scout you because of my relationship with the company and I didn't want to get sued, but if you're leaving, there's no problem, right? I appreciate it, but it's not that simple. What? What do you mean? <laughs> well, I gave Shirakami-san my two cents. And then... It's fine, I can do that much for you. She laughed it off and agreed. You're allowed to make a decision like that on your own? It'll be fine. I trust you. By the way, Kanzaki-san, you joined that company after graduating high school, so you've been in this industry for about seven years, right? That's right. I see. Well, I'll tell my father just in case, but I think it'll be fine because it benefits us. If anything, I'm glad. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. If you feel like you owe me, let's go out to eat together sometime. It's hard to get you to come alone with me. Yes, I'd be happy to join you. Really? Ah, yay! It's a promise. I'll be mad if you break it. Don't worry, I won't break it. I found a new job and put my plan into action. On the day of resignation... Senpai! Are you really quitting? I'm sorry. I've already made up my mind. But... I'm sorry all of a sudden. No, it's your life. I have no right to tell you what to do. Uh? Uh... Um... Want to go out to eat together sometime? Huh? What? Is... is that... I have something important to tell you. Will you come? Y yes I'll come I'll definitely be there. I see. That's good. Then if you'll excuse me... Yes! I said my goodbyes to the employees and left the company. I honestly felt a tugging at the back of my head as everyone bade me farewell. But I had things I had to do, so there was nothing I could do. Kosaka was smiling at me, which annoyed me a little. Have you said your goodbyes yet? Shirakami-san? What are you doing here? I thought I'd ask you to fulfill a promise I made to you. Oh, would you like to eat? <laughs> yeah. I'm counting on you from now on, Yuto-kun. Yes, wait. Yuto? Since we're in the same company now, Shouldn't we call each other by our first names? I don't mind, but... I'm embarrassed. Well then, cheers to you for joining us! Thank you! Eat as much as you like. It's my treat today. Uh... I don't think I can eat this much. Don't worry, you Tokun. You can eat it, can't you? You trust me that much? Well, <laughs> I'll do my best not to leave any leftovers. Yeah, good luck. Well, don't overdo it. You're the one who ordered it, Shirakami-san. <laughs> well, anyways, I'm looking forward to your performance from now on. For everyone's sake, too. Yes, I know. <laughs> You're so sweet, Yutokun. Why all of a sudden... It's a natural progression to the conversation, isn't it? Well, from the junior's point of view, 
There might be some who resent me since I left them behind. I don't think so, but... I guess we need to wrap this up even faster then. Yeah, let's get this over with as soon as possible. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I then enjoyed the dinner with Shirakami-san. A few days later... Hmm? A phone call? <coughs> I felt uncomfortable as soon as I saw the name of the caller. I thought about ignoring it, but eventually picked up. Yes? It's been a while, Kanzaki-kun. It's only been a few days since I resigned. Don't worry about the details. <laughs> so, have you cooled off? Yes. If you bow down, I'll ask my father to rehire you. Uh... Oh, it's okay. I'm busy right now, so goodbye. Uh, what? Hey! Something was being said on the other end of the phone, but I quickly hung up. Was it okay to hang up? Oh, it's fine. It was my former boss. Ugh, your phone is ringing again. Ugh. Yes? Who do you think you are hanging up on your boss's calls? You're not my boss anymore, Kosaka-san. You still need to have some manners! What do you want? So, if you're coming back... Huh. Oh, I hung up by accident. <laughs> so persistent. They're in trouble, aren't they? You're right. She was the kind of boss who only caused problems. Ah, uh, I can imagine. Huh? You know my former boss? Well, it's a long story. Uh, is it better not to ask? Why don't you pick up the phone for her? No, I'll just turn it off. Fortunately, I've been given a company phone over here. Ugh, something really bad must have happened for you to treat her like that. <laughs> More importantly, I'm going to go see my juniors tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow? Can I come too? What? You too, Shirakami-san? Yeah, wouldn't it be easier to explain if I was there? That may be so, but having a member of management around could make things awkward. It's a private matter, so please, let me handle it on my own. Eh, you're so meticulous, Yuto-kun. Please don't sulk. You're making me feel like I'm an outsider. No, I'm not. Eh. Let's get this paperwork done quickly instead. We're going to be busy from now on. Yeah, yeah, you bully. You're overreacting, Shirakami-san. Don't be so insensitive. Anyway, let's get this over with. I worked while calming down Shirakami-san, who was sulking. And the next evening? Sorry for taking up your time. N no I'm honored that you invited me to dinner. To be honest, I thought it would be difficult, but I'm surprised you made it. We're actually having a bit of an internal struggle right now. Oh, really? Why is that? Um, we can talk about it over dinner. Oh yeah, that's right. The others are probably here already, so let's get going. Wait, the others? Kanzaki-san, it's been a few days. How are you, Kanzaki-san? Everyone's here? Why? Yeah, I'm glad you guys could come. Um, senpai, what is this? Oh, I thought it would be better if I talked to everyone at once, so I called everyone in on the same day. Huh? Um, the important thing you wanted to talk about, is it about work? Yeah, I mean, would there be anything else? Uh... What? Kira-san, what's wrong? Nothing. What? Are you okay? <laughs> Kazaki-san, you're really cruel at times. He can be pretty insensitive sometimes. Hmm. I didn't understand everyone's reaction or why Kira-san was sad. But once we were inside the restaurant, I asked what was going on in the company while we ate. So, it's like a strike going on in the company. Well, it's not like we were making any demands. But there's a lot of people who are rebelling against the company and not showing up to work. The company's credibility is in the gutter. And the veterans are quitting one by one. That's a pretty drastic move. Everyone seems to have made up their minds to quit because Kanzaki-san quit. 
A lot of the companies we work with were your clients. And some of those companies said they can no longer do business with us without Kanzaki-san, and terminated our business relationship. Hmm, things turned out to be more complicated than I thought. We don't know what to do! I don't know if I can find a new job anytime soon, even if I wanted to quit. Do you guys want to quit that company? Of course we do! But I don't know if I can find a new job. What about the rest of you? I want to quit. Me too. Same. I see. If that's the case, let's work together again. What? I've actually been entrusted with a major new project at my current company. And they need a lot of manpower for the project. So you should all move to this company so we can work together. I want you all to lend me a hand again. But... but there's no way they'd accept all of us. Don't worry. I can vouch for your skills, and the company president already gave me the green light. So the rest depends on how you guys feel. <gasps> I'm coming! I want to work with you again, senpai! Me too! Me too! Thanks, guys! And that's how they all agreed. A month later, they all left their current company and joined mine. They all seem to be happy because they have weekends and holidays off, and very little overtime. So, the reason you quit that time was for us. Well, we were lucky to be able to get this set up so quickly. I quit because I thought it was a bad idea for everyone to stay there. But it wasn't possible for everyone to quit without a new job lined up. So I thought of securing that first. I was actually going to get individual projects from companies I've been working with, and have all of us in the same company with temporary placements. But Shirakami-san said she would take all of us in, and she even helped me secure a big project! Without her help, this wouldn't have been possible. It's a dream come true to be able to work with you again, senpai. Thanks, you're very talented. So I'll be relying on you, Kira-san. Yes I'll do my best! And so, we were to do our best for the company that accepted all of us. With all of our skills combined, the company grew even further. On the other hand... Please, Ikaru! Hire me for all time's sake! The former company lost most of its employees and went out of business. Kosaka-san even got down on her knees to Shirakami-san, who was her classmate since high school, and managed to join our company. Moreover, Shirakami-san said that she would retrain her, so she became my subordinate. From now on, it will be my job to correct her rotten guts. The cold princess, the one who was given such a nickname was the new hire who joined this year. Her name is Arahime Hoyusaka, and her nickname comes from her icy cold attitude towards men. She had a growing fan base despite her harsh personality due to her beautiful looks. And this girl... Good morning, Itoda-san. Oh, <laughs> your tie is out of place. Let me fix it for you. For some reason, she was very friendly and kind to me, Koki Itoda. Well, I'm turning 24 this year, and I'm just an ordinary office worker. Well, I've been working since I graduated high school, but it's not like I've been working long enough to be able to boast about it. So I wondered why she was only kind to me. Uh, please stop blatantly clicking your tongues at me! Thanks to this, people at work were jealous of me, which made things uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> How rude of those narrow-minded people. <laughs> More importantly, do you have any plans for the coming weekend? Uh, no, I, I think I'll just play games at home. Games? That's very nice. Uh, uh? Could this girl be an angel? Some would call me childish for that, but Hiyasuka-san didn't seem to mind, so I couldn't help but think that in my head. Um, you know, I'm sorry to interrupt such an important time of yours, but if you don't mind, could you come hang out with me? What? Is, is that? Yes, a date. I'd like you to go on a date with me. That's it. She's an angel after all! Well, I said yes to her invitation with no questions and headed to the office feeling excited. Yo, it's told her! What was that all about? Why are you trying to keep the most beautiful woman in the company all to yourself? I was questioned by my colleagues who were watching the scene. Despite all that, the day of our promised date arrived. 
Itoda-san! Yeah, I'm glad I was able to go on this date, even if my colleagues question me about it. Frankly speaking, hoyoska san looks so cute all dressed up. <laughs> Good morning! Yeah, morning. Uh, you look really nice in that. You... Oh, thank you very much. She, she's blushing. <laughs> so cute. Uh, let's get going then. You wanted to go to the uh, the cat cafe, right? Yes. Ayoka san said she wanted to have conversations with me, so we're going to talk at a cat cafe since she's a cat lover. <laughs> I'm not sure if it would have been better if I'd invited her to my house or something, but I didn't have the guts to invite her to my house from the jump. So, we're gonna talk outside. Uh, uh, hi, uh, Ayoska side? Uh, um, is this okay with you? Well, she's very forward. Where did the cold princess go? Uh, of course it is. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, God. My heart can't take this anymore! I managed to make it to the cat cafe while I was being taken away by Hayusuke san's preciousness. Although, I don't remember anything along the way. <laughs> Such a cute kitty. Yaosaka san was smitten by the cats when we arrived at the cat cafe. Yeah, she's too precious. Who calls this girl the cold princess? Hi, Yaosaka san. You really like cats, don't you? Oh, I, I, I'm sorry for showing you something embarrassing. What a thing is embarrassing at all. It's actually really sweet. You've always been so kind, Itoda-san. Wait, what? Uh, no, 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 it, it's nothing. Uh, what does she mean by that? It hasn't been that long since she joined the company. Uh, have I met you in, a, in the past by any chance? Uh, no, 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 you haven't. Oh, I haven't? Nope, no, 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 no. If I met her in the past, I could understand why she's only kind to me, but I guess not. Well, if I met a pretty girl like her, how could I forget? After that, Ayasaka san wanted to leave the cafe for some reason, so we left. We entered the cafe because we wanted to talk, but in the end, we couldn't even have a proper conversation. And I paid for it. Knew I'm a guy and her senior, so I wanted to put on a good face. I'm sorry. Saying I wanted to leave right away? Oh, don't worry about it. More importantly, is there anywhere you want to go next? Oh, um, how about the movie theaters? We went to the cafe to talk, and now you want to go to the movies where there's no talking at all? It's as if you're waiting for time to pass with as little conversation as possible. Let, let's go to the movies then. <sighs> Breath of relief. Yeah, something's up. I thought so, but I'm not close enough to Hayao Sakasad. If anything, I'm trying to get to know her better from here. So I couldn't dive in too deep. When we arrived at the movie theater... Oh, it's the movie reincarnated as a slime! Hmm, looks like the screening starts today. Do you watch anime, Hiao Sakasad? Yes, I like it a lot! Well, I see, yeah, me too! It's great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's why I started watching it. Hmm? Did you say something? <laughs> no, 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 it's nothing. <laughs> really? Do you want to watch this one then? Uh, is it okay? Yeah, of course, I like this anime too. <laughs> then, please. And so, Hiyasaka san and I decided to watch the movie. Reincarnated as a slime. Hiyasaka san was very excited during the screening and she looked so cute. This movie was based on a light novel. So it's more of an otaku oriented anime. To be honest, I'm surprised Hiyasaka san likes it. She really has many sides to her. <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, I won't tell Hiyasaka san I was too busy watching her get excited. <laughs> I want to do five more rounds! <laughs> oh, that's a lot! <laughs> Wait, Koki? <gasps> uh, what? Ryoga? Oh, it is you! Long time no see! 
Well, I haven't seen you since high school. How have you been? His name is Tender Ryoga, and we were friends in high school. We became friends because we both liked anime and we used to hang out at Ryoga's house. But after we graduated from high school, we grew apart, so I missed him. Who would have thought you'd be with a girl? <laughs> what? On a date? Well, yeah, something like that. I thought you weren't interested in the third dimension. Well, of course I am! Hmm? What is that? What? No, this girl. You're Orahime, aren't you? Huh? No, no, who are you? That face is definitely Orahime. What do you mean, who are you? I'm your brother. Wait, R Ryoga's your brother? No, 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 no. That's a crazy person I just met for the first time. How can you talk to your brother like that? What? Could it be that you've lost your memory? No, Ryoga, her name is Hoyosaka-san, not, not Tendo. I thought Ryoga's sister was an Orohime. Oh, I never told you. When I was in college, my mom remarried and my last name changed. That's why it's Hoyosaka now. What? Really? Then Hoyosaka-san is actually... She's his stepsister from the remarriage? Orohime? Wait! Are you so concerned? Orohime, wait! Where are you going? We called out to Yasaka san, who suddenly ran out without looking back. Yasaka san, getting angry, startled us, and we were late to chase after her because of it. Ryoga, let's go after Yasaka san! Y yeah! We were looking for Yasaka san. Where is she? No matter how hard we looked, we couldn't find the Osaka side. How could we lose her when she stands out so much with her beauty? Do you have any idea where she might be? I haven't lived with her since I started college, and she's always been good at hide and seek. Uh, the way she got angry just now reminded me of something. The Osaka son is Ricky Chan, who used to play with us at your house, right? I was surprised after seeing how different she looked from back then. Ryoga had a sister two years younger than him. And I used to hang out with her a lot. But she used to be very plain looking and quiet. So I didn't recognize her at all. And her name was different. But I'm sure I've seen that angry look many times in the past. I see. That's what she called herself to you. Why did she take a false name? She didn't like the name Orohime. That's why she called herself Ricky, using Ri for the kanji of her first letter and Ki from the second. It's such a pretty name, though. Uh, to tell you the truth, guys used to make fun of her name. Remember? Orohime used to be really plain. I guess she wanted to break away from that, so she changed her appearance right after she graduated high school. Well, I see, so that's what happened why she dislikes guys and why she hid her past was clear to me now Ryoga, do you know where hayasaka son lives now yeah i helped her when she moved in all right could you check the house i'll go to a different place have it boyd uh yeah okay <laughs> going to do i've been trying so hard to change myself and look better i'm sure koki kun doesn't like me anymore i don't dislike you <gasps> itoda san why are you here you were here after all whenever you fought with yoga back then you would come here so i took a chance uh, you remembered Although, I didn't have many good memories from school. I'll never forget the time I spent with you and Ryoga. More importantly, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't notice that you were Ricky-chan. Oh, no. It's my fault for hiding it from you. 
Is it because you thought I wouldn't like you if you were the old Ricky Chard? Yes. I'm sorry. Did I behave in a way that made you think so? Uh huh? Well, I thought I was taking care of you like a sister, but there must have been something that was bothering you. Isn't that why you hid the fact that you were Ricky Chard? N no, that's not it. You were always nice to me even though I was dull and bad looking. You never did anything wrong to me. Oh, I see. Then you didn't have to pretend the past didn't happen, don't you think? I was such a dull person. I can't get you to like me like that. I worked so hard to look better. If you see me as the person I was in the past, you'd be disappointed. Uh, is that really true? Huh? Like I said before, I thought of you as my sister back in high school. I wouldn't dismiss anything about you from the past. But I wouldn't be able to get you to like me. To be honest, I didn't see you in that way. Oh, I knew it. But that doesn't mean I wasn't attracted to you. Uh, what? The reason why I couldn't look at you was because you're Ryoga's sister. Because of that, I tried to look at you as if you were my sister. Back then, there was nothing attractive about me. Do you really think so? You were a very caring and kind girl, you know? Well, I think that's very attractive. Besides, you always had a very pretty smile. Uh. So, you were attractive to me. You want to pretend the past never happened, but I guess it depends on how you look at it. What do you mean? From what I've heard, you put in a lot of effort to be liked by me and became this pretty, right? Yes. Do you think I would just like a girl who makes such an effort for me? If anything, it makes me happy! Oh, uh, you were glad? Yeah, I'm very happy. To be honest, I was a little scared because I didn't know why you took such a liking towards me, so I was relieved and happy to know that heyasaka san was actually Ricky-chan. Oh, I see. What? D -d -d don't cry. That doesn't mean I was rejecting the current you. No, I I'm just crying because I'm so happy. Really? Ugh, that scared me. Uh, I... I'm sorry. I... Uh, Koki-kun? Mm, what is it? Well, I think you already know, but I like you. If I was able to make you happy, will you take me as your girlfriend? Oh, yeah. Well, I want you as my girlfriend too, ricky Chan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Hey, 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 don't cry. You've always been a crybaby, ricky Chard. Because I'm so happy. I've had a crush on you since freshman year of high school. I'm sorry I made you wait for six years. I'll take good care of you from now on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you. This is how we started dating, and she asked me to call her Arahomi instead of Ricky. Maybe she was able to clear up her past when she started going out with me. Then we met up with Ryoga, who was waiting for us at Arahomi-chan's house. But Arahime-chan was still angry with Ryoga, and it was very hard to calm her down. Now please leave the insensitive big brother alone and get closer with me from now on, Koki-kun. Arahime-chan seemed satisfied after lecturing Ryoga for about an hour, but I secretly thanked Ryoga later since none of this could have happened without him. By the way, the reason why Arahime-chan is so strict with guys is because she was harassed in the past. Well, I'm gonna do my best to heal her emotional wounds from now on.